What's going on, YouTube? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the meta. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about what you can and can't get away with. I'm gonna talk about ranked and casual gameplay versus competitive. And you know, like, you know, can you use this gun in ranked? Can you use that gun in competitive? Can you use this gun in, in pubs? You know, can you walk around with it? I'm gonna cover those things. I'm not gonna cover all the characters' abilities, but I will talk about what I personally think is your best option coming into season 20 if you want to gain RP and have the most fun while also having the most like, you know, OP or, you know, best time. The, the biggest advantage, I should say. If you like this video, drop a like. I want eh, 125 likes. No, 136 likes. Thank you. Let's we'll start off with the good things. Let's we'll start off with the pros and then we'll talk about the, you know, not so good later. I appreciate the changes that Respawn has made. I think the perk system is cool. I think the new armor swapping and changing, I think all that's cool. Good job. It's fresh. It feels new. I love that. I think that's what makes games great. You know, con consistent updates. Maybe not changing the whole game, but giving this something fresh. You know, it's been 20 seasons. I know as well as anybody. Like, for a long time, it felt, it felt like we've been playing the same game every season. We're just, like, maybe, like, worse or slightly better versions of previous rank systems. You know, like, it's been nothing new. And I think these perk systems are really dope. It's a step in the right direction. A applaud. Applaud for them, okay? I, I, W, W, okay? The next thing. I think that the rank system has a lot of potential. My only concern is that it's too early for me to give a fair valuation, okay? Right now, I, I played around seven hours of rank. The few things that I, you know, kept note of was the fact that, one, everybody got reset to rookie, okay? So with that being said, it kind of made the lobbies feel really inty. You know, everybody just running at each other, trying to try out new characters, new ability, new perks, whatever. I get that. So there was no end games at all. In fact, all my games were probably like dead after round two or three. But I'm paying attention. I've been watching, you know, Jen Burn, Fnatic. I've been watching those guys, number one, Pred Grind. And I've been seeing like, you know, if they don't get top five, they're like top six with KP, they're getting like 20 hour RP. And that's in Diamond. So I don't know what Master's going to be like, but... Me seeing that, it gives me hope that when every, you know, when the when the ranks start to fill up, when people start to get to their their appropriate rank, that there's gonna be end games because you can't die early, you know. End gold right now, I know that if I die before I think the like, top twelve, top ten, I lose RP. It's gold. I I'm fine with that. Like I said, when you get to diamond, you die. If you're dying before top ten, lose an RP. If you're dying even in top six, like I said, without KP, you're not you're you're not gaining anything. So you have to win. I love that. The closest we can get to, like, if rank can mirror Apex as close as it can competitively, I I love that. I think everybody will love that. I think a lot of people miss, don't really, really understand how fun competitive Apex is. You know, when you're eight teams up, round four closing, and, you know, everybody has to move, and, you know, you're just, like, all that chaos is, you know, the circle's consuming the lobby, everybody, you hear abilities, grenades, guns, like, all that going up, people really haven't experienced that unless you've played competitively, and there's not a lot of people that can play, that play competitively. Um, so I, I have high hopes for the rank system. Sorry for rambling. What are the other things? I'm happy with the digi being off of SMGs. I think they need to remove it off every. I think the digi just needs to be vaulted. I think they should just get rid of digi threats. It shouldn't be a thing. It's the only item in the game that counters a character character's ability in Bangalore. So that being said, they 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 took like half a step forward. They need to, t to finish the rest of that half of the step, you know? Because Digis are bad for the game. In general, they're bad. You take them off SMGs and you leave them on the ground. It's just diluting the loot pool. Fuck it. Just get rid of them. Get rid of them. Take them, off, take them out the game. Prowler coming back to the ground. W. I love that. I love I love the SMGs being on the ground. I hate when they put guns that like a lot of people use. Like, I don't like when they nerf everything and then there's like nothing left to lose. Like, you feel like you're forced to use something. Right now, I'm going to be honest. I feel like you can use a Volt, you can use a car, you can use a car, you can use a Prowler. Granted, it is, you know, two of those guns stronger than the other one. Yes, it's always going to be like that. But I like having options. You know, I don't, I don't feel like I have to pick up a Prowler. I could pick up a Volt, you know, and I like that. So I like that the Prowler came back to the ground. They put the Eva in the pack, whatever. I don't know anybody that's used an Eva ever. Last time the Eva was good was season 10, okay? Nobody uses that gun anymore. Who cares? Plus, everybody, anybody who uses a shotgun and really truly enjoys using a shotgun, they use a PK or a fucking Mastiff, you know? I think that overall, this game, I'm, I'm happy to see changes. I just need them to continue. I think my biggest, my biggest complaint, if I have to make one right now, is going to be that they're making, they're adding new things, but they need to continue. You can't stop here, you know? Like, halfway through the split, I want to see map changes. I don't, I, I hopped on yesterday, started off on Olympus, no map changes, 
Stormpoint, I don't, I haven't played Stormpoint yet, but I'm assuming no map changes, same thing with Roth's Edge. They made these armor changes, right? You know, you can level up armors by doing prowlers, spiders, shooting dragons. There's none of that on World's Edge. There's none of that on Olympus. So let's consider this continue to, to, to keep it pushing Apex. Let's add more changes. Let's add let's add maybe every other week. Every other week we put out a small update. So maybe change a POI. Or maybe even through the split. Halfway through the split, you just get rid of a few you add a few new things to a few different POIs. But keep it fresh. I'm not saying you have to change the whole game. But I think the most appealing thing to new players is going to be consistent updates or bug fixes you know don't make us play a whole split of a trash rank system if you can fix it if you can if you can make an entry cost higher on, on a tuesday for the, the people in diamond and up to emulate you know more of a competitive play style and rank then do it I, I don't see the problem with that i think that i'm happy with all these perk changes i think all these perk changes are really cool i really do appreciate all these changes valk for me, I love. I, I I used to main Valk back in the day. She I have the most kills on Valk. Seeing these like the improved jetpack handling and the, the, the increased jetpack fuel, I, that made me that made me want to play Valk again. Like I I was itching to play Valk yesterday. There's a lot of characters with cool perks. I think Pathfinder is some really cool. Um, if you go to Pathfinder, you get access to either beacon you choose. I I, I was playing with him yesterday. I was doing survey beacons. And then the down in the way, the attack refresh on the knock, grapple in, kill somebody, grapple out. That's so awesome. I love the perk system. I just have a few, not really complaints, but worries. It's just going to get stale. Are we going to add anything to it? Are we going to continue to evolve? You know, like, is this all we're going to, are these going to be the permanent perks forever? Are we going to have to wait another 20 seasons to see new perks? Like, I hope they try shit. And I, and I know it's not easy, but I'm, 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 I'm hoping that they try shit. Okay. I want them to try and keep adding things. I think that'll keep the game fresh for a lot of people. With that being said... Again, my only concerns is, is if they they stop. They stop here. They wait till next season to add a new new update to change three things. You know, like they need to continue with the, the down the path that they're going. They need to continue it. If they do, I think we're all excited. Good job. Like I said, good job, Apex. We took a step in the right direction. Just keep stepping in the right direction, okay? Now my complaints, I don't have a long list, okay? But I don't like when we don't pay attention to the meta as a developer i feel like your job is pretty i don't want to say simple it's not simple but i feel like you should know better than most people about the state of the game and when i say that listen i'm not saying they did a bad job but somebody missed something okay because how do you nerf the r9 again and then bring the prowler back now they nerfed the prowler back to what it was before the care pack but i don't know if you guys remember that thing was fucking op the prowler was stupid okay so all they did was revert it back to how it was before, but it was OP before and went in the pack. That's why they put it in the pack. They put it in the pack because it was busted. And they put it right back on the ground, right with how it was. And I'm like, I'm scared that they're, that it's going to be, you know, like that there's only going to be one choice. You know, like people are going to start staying away from, you know, all the, the other options. And they're just going to, they're going to find out that the Prowler's meta. And it's going to happen. You know, meta's our thing. But like, I feel like, how do you nerf for R9? You... you Burn it to the ground with the last update, and then you hit it again, and it's just like I, I don't understand the goal. Like, I don't, I don't see the vision. I, I get that the the, the prowler got perverted, but why do you nerf another SMG? I feel like honestly, I feel like a more enjoyable game would be if everything was more on the OP side than the ass side, because when everything's on the ass side, there's going to be guns that stand out. Example: last season, it was Hemlock or a uh, Peter. You didn't have those two guns, you were at a disadvantage. And why is that? Why is that, you ask? The flatline's been nerfed, the Nemesis been nerfed, the R3's been nerfed, and they, they like, I don't get that. Like, I, like I, I, that frustrates me, because, like, I feel like they, Apex has such a big opportunity in front of them to make so many, to give people a choice to play the way they really want to play and have fun with it. I think when they nerf everything and then leave out a few things, that are blatantly OP. The game becomes very unfun for people that want to play the game the way they want to play it. And I think Apex has an opportunity to make the game where you can play it however you want to play it. If you want to use a fucking R301 and a P20, you should be able to do that. But Apex looks at you and says no. Not allowed. Not in Apex Legends. So I, like I said, I hope that they pay attention to what the community is giving them. They pay attention to the feedback. They pay attention to the statistics. And then they come and they give us an update 
if it's not if it's not bi-weekly or, or every week on or every weekday on a tuesday at least give it to us halfway through the split and give us a timeline can we get a timeline can we get a roadmap can we can we look forward to something okay and i saw on twitter that there was a bug or not a bug but like it was like not really an exploit either but if you hit um the ring beacon before it pops you gain evo armor okay so you would gain th that armor in the bottom left you would gain armor for hitting beacon but if you hit it so if you land you hit the beacon before the first ring shows you get evo points okay and then as soon as it pops you hit it again and you're almost at blue armor already and that's kind of like exploit he's kind of like it's not supposed to work that way and i saw a dev comment and he's like yeah we're looking into this great i love that i love to see the devs communicating with us now when can we expect a change or a fix to this you know this exploit bug whatever you want to call it that's that's what i need to know i i feel like a lot of people would appreciate we could just like get you know bug fixes like the beacon thing fixed every tuesday you know there's something going wrong get it fixed you know maybe every week on a tuesday or maybe every other week but don't make us wait 90 fucking days for you to nerf the beacon the, the beacon evo armor ex exploit you know like ho please lord you know throughout my seven and a half hours though i had a lot of fun playing ranked i'm looking forward to continuing to play i'm probably gonna play later hopefully when i get into the everybody like i said when the lobby start to fill up if you are in diamond and plat the games start to even out you know you know the end games start to you know eight teams up seven teams up there's end games i'm looking forward to that and i think the system will work okay but the exciting part the part that you guys want the nerds the sweats okay the advice you want to hear the advice what is the meta i'm gonna be completely honest i am not 100 percent sure if there's a hard meta i can tell you there is some characters that are better than others i'll show you now okay for me personally if you like to fight a lot bangalore and bloodhound their perks go really well together and they you can frag out on them okay but this is where it gets weird that's the only characters i can sit there and tell you that because i know in competitive that people are going to play those characters but like even like you can even look at sears perks right and his perks aren't bad either like i think the meta is really open right now with the characters i think you could play a lot of different characters and get away with it w w on apex so i'm not gonna say there's a hard meta for characters right now not gonna do that but there is better characters than others, okay? Your Conduit, Pathfinder, Revenant, Horizon, even Valk, if you guys are, Valk, she can fly high, as, as high as she used to. She can fly faster if you want to be more aggressive and like, like if you want to take advantage of her passive, she has perks to do that. Rampart's really strong for teams that want to play more defensive. Kat has got some of her old nerfs reverted with the perks. So she's, she's still, you know, strong. Watson, she's strong too, even Caustic. So it's like, and then you go over to Assault, you have Maggie and Fuse. They got, like, their perks are really strong. Even Ash. Even, some would say Ballistic, you know? I'm not a Ballistic fan, but if you are a Ballistic fan, like, his perks are, are pretty good, too. If you look at his perks, um, his level 3 armor thing, you can get two of his tacks. So, like, if you're fighting in a 1v2, you can hit two people with this tack, and, you know, maybe they overheat. Or you could do the lasting bullet. Smart bullet, lifetime triple. So they they can't shoot, for, like, triple the, triple the time, you know? I think, I don't think there's a hard meta when it comes to characters, okay? But when it comes to guns, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight into the competitive side, okay? For ranked, like I said, I think you can get away, you can get away with using a Volt, you can get away with using a car. And if you're good with the R9, I am not right now, uh, you can get away with using the R9. Uh, the R9's still good. In terms of competitive play, be a, keep it a buck fifty. You are probably going to see only two guns used on the SMG side of things, and then you're only going to see for for primaries. You're probably only going to see two or three of those being used. Okay, and and for your SMGs, it's going to be a Prowler, and it's not because of the just the damage output. It's because this this, this gun, okay, has thirty five rounds in a purple magazine. A car has twenty six, I think, and an R9 has twenty seven. Eight bullets. Do you know how much damage eight bullets is? A Prowler, I'm pretty sure, does 15 bullets, 15 damage per bullet. Do the math, 15 times 8. What is that? Uh, let's do it right now. It's 120. Oh, my camera's inverted, but it's 120. That is so much damage to be put out just because of a mag difference. The Prowler, if you're really a sweat and you're trying to lock in, you want RP that day, just use a Prowler. And then the other SMG, again, is going to be the Volt. It's old reliable. It's not hard to use. It's probably the easiest SMG to use out of any of these guns. Consistent recoil. You know, 
good damage output, good bullet velocity, quick handling, quick, quick safe speed. Bolt old reliable. You're struggling with the Prowler, you're struggling with Dawn Knight, go ahead, pick up that bolt, and get it popping, okay? This is competitive meta, okay? So I'm... You can get away with using all these other guns, uh, like R9, the car, you know, you get away with using that shit and, and run right. That, that's perfectly fine, but competitively, if you want RP, for the primary category, it's gonna be a hemlock. You're gonna see flat lines. Peter's gonna still hit hard as fuck. Uh, I know, I know, you guys aren't excited. Peter's, Nemesis, and a scout. Rest R3, like, I think the gun meta, for, like I said, I've said it again, I'm gonna say it again, like, I'm gonna continue to say it. I think that uh, Apex is a huge opportunity with the gun meta to really take advantage of all everything that they have in game. Um, but they need to pay attention to what people tell them. So re in this in this update, they updated the Arthur one's hip fire accuracy, but it's an AR. We don't care about hip fire accuracy. Cool, it's gonna help us here and there, but it's a primary weapon. Can we get some? Can we? This R the R301 hasn't been meta or even been usable. Usable. I'm I know I don't want to use that term, but quite literally, this gun has not been usable in like a high ranked setting or competitive setting in in multiple seasons. And it was simply because they nerfed the damage by one. And I just get frustrated. I'm like, that's why it's like I think it's better to have everything be on the OP side rather than the like like shit side, the you know, the weak side. Because there's just gonna be guns that stand out. Like the hemlock right now is just it's easily the best they are. Like there's no competing with it. If you're good with now, if you're good with the fly line, but not the fly line's hard as fuck to use. The best players in the world sometimes struggle to use the fly line. So like the hemlock's just old reliable, like in the AR category right now. And it's simply because there's no other ARs that match up with it. You know, everything's gotten nerfed to the ground so much to where like the one gun that they did decide to buff three seasons ago is still OP. You know? That's competitive meta in terms of guns. Um Character meta, again, I think you guys, with this perk system, do a lot of mixing and matching. Like, I know, I know I've been hearing a lot that people might swap on over to uh, Watson for her uh, upgrades. So if you look at her upgrades, you can kind of play her on edge now. Um, like, if you guys like to play Watson and you feel like you can't play her because you fight a lot, and like, if you're, you know, you, maybe when you play Watson, you feel like you have to send a building. No, not necessarily true anymore. Um, one, the Falling Stars thing, Pylons and Intercept Dark Stars. You can harass the shit out of people if you ever like with this you know like imagine going into a gunfight with three arc stars to start what like you might as well win the fight i thought like you already own the fight if you use them right and you look at the level three perks split circuit double ult expel speed and ult placements so what that means you place two ults at one time i'll show you guys right here so if i'm correct you can place one ult Say you're pushing up on a fight, you place one over here, all right, get my ult back, and then say, you know, put another ult here. Now you have two ults, and, and what is the point of this? Well, this could be good for two reasons. One is the fact that if you're walking up, you know, you could, and, you, and your team's trying to play a little bit split, but you're scared you might get horizon ulted or harassed with nades, you can put a gen here, and then you could t pop ult excels, okay? Um, with this perk, your ult excels get popped a lot faster. Where is an ult excel at? You pop ult excels in four seconds compared to the normal time. It's like seven or eight. Um, so now you get your ult back right away. And again, you get to put another ult down for maybe your teammate. If you're scared of that, or uh, if you think they might get harassed, you know, horizon ulted, naded, and spammed, then we'll refuse knuckle clustered, whatever. Because right now there's a lot of fuse and maggies. Watson can take advantage of that level three perk and put down two ults. Um, so you guys can take space and, and play angles, right? Uh, character meta, I'm telling you guys, has never been more open than it is right now, okay? Right now, in this very moment, you can play whatever character you want that fits your playstyle with this new perk system. 100%. The guns are tricky. Depends on, the you know, the mood and what you're trying to do. If you're trying to have fun, you can get away with shotguns. 100% shotguns are good now because they nerfed a bunch of SMG shotguns are good you know um but again if you're trying to sweat there's going there's always going to be a meta at least uh, specifically for the guns right now uh, competitively there's going to be a hard meta there's just no way around that I again I'm gonna wrap this video up by saying thank you guys for all the love in the past videos make sure to like the video I want 150 likes comment if you're still here comment comment howdy deeds okay howdy deeds Howdy deeds. All right, I need to see it. If you watch this video all the way through, I love you, okay? 
make sure make sure to share the video with your grandmas, your aunts, your uncles, your sisters, your cousins. I'll see y'all when y'all see y'all. If you have any questions about Apex, competitive, Apex rank, Apex pubs, characters, perks, uh, guns, metas, attachments, anything. I'll be in the comments. I love talking to y'all. I'll see y'all when I see y'all, okay? I'm out. Bye-bye.